of rapists, domestic violence, hit and run, kidnapping, and identity theft. 85% uh, of the, their contacts they make, this is ICE, uh, is, are either have criminal convictions or pending criminal charges, and the remaining 15% is fugitives from justice. Mm -hmm. So ICE is dealing with the most hardened criminals you could ever believe. That's all they deal with. And uh, Kamala Harris said that they were uh, the KKK. Mm -hmm. So she's wrong and she owes uh, um, ICE an apology mm -hmm. too. Uh, and that's kind of what I wanted to say. These are just these are just stats, you know, and these are just convictions, not open cases, not you know, you know, where they can't can't even find a suspect. And like in the, on the rape thing, five thousand rapes. It's either fifty to ninety percent of rapes are not reported. Sure. Yeah. So when we're talking about numbers. These are very very low numbers. Then on top of that, we have 100,000 fentanyl deaths annually. So that's what, 500,000 in the last five years, maybe? So we're looking at numbers that more people were killed with open borders than in the Civil War. Mm -hmm. So this is a national emergency. It has to be dealt with as in a national emergency. And I, I, what I'm surprised, I'm pleased that you're doing what you're doing. I really am. Mm -hmm. But we need to, the, the Republican Party has to coalesce as one and fight these Democrats. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, we just have to, you know, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, well, what we need to do, we need control of the other levers of government. Because Absolutely. If you look at what Joe Biden has done through executive order, uh, he has directed essentially uh, Customs and Border Patrol to break federal law. Yeah. Right. You know, and th that is uh, completely inexcusable. Right. Uh, so we need to get the presidency back. We need to get Donald Trump back in the presidency because right. uh, he is, President Trump has said he's going to put an end to this, uh, which he will. And you know what? This is the, the big tragedy is you look at when this all spiked. It was right after Joe Biden took office. Yep. And why did it spike then? Because he issued executive orders overturning the Trump-era policies right. on mm -hmm. the border that were working. Right. I mean, we know the, the border's always been a problem, you know, because we want to, we want to respect people's freedom. But we want to also enforce the rule of law and, and tell people who is allowed to be here and who isn't. And that's a reasonable thing to do. So there's, there's kind of a balance there. But President Trump had that policy of remain in Mexico. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and he had outlawed the, the, the policy of catch and release. And so uh, when Joe Biden did away with those things we, is when we saw that huge spike because all of a sudden people had an incentive to come here. Mm -hmm. And another thing that I wish you would add to your statistics here, because I find it equally alarming, is the way that our foreign adversaries are using our porous border oh, to yeah. send and infiltrate people Absolutely. in our community. Yeah. Uh, and you, you raise the fentanyl issue, which I'm deeply passionate about. Uh, a lot of people look at our district and think, well, uh, we could be concerned for our country that this is occurring, but we're not a border district, so it's not affecting us. Right. It is affecting us. Right. Uh, the San Bernardino County Sheriff says that fentanyl deaths in San Bernardino County, you're up 600 percent in the last 18 months. I don't know why we're putting and up with it. The vast majority mm -hmm. is coming across the border, right. being trafficked by the same people yes. that we're not stopping and we're getting released in our community. And you know, there's another aspect. Like we talked to uh, members of the state of California, the Senate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Did you talk to Rosalicia? No, we talked to Chris Holden's. Oh, staff. okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that must have been an interesting conversation. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with him, mm -hmm. but. They're tinkering with immigration. Mm -hmm. And I know for a fact that the states have no authority whatsoever. Oh, sure. well, on Texas, you know, uh, Governor Abbott, yeah. God bless him, has, mm -hmm. has said, I've had enough. Right. You know, you, federal government, you have a constitutional obligation right. to enforce border security. Right. If you're not going to do it, we're going to do it because right. it's affecting our community. Right. Well, that's a little yeah. different from what Chris no, no. Holden and his buddies are no, no, doing. No, no, they're doing the opposite. Right. Yeah. But yeah, we, we tried to explain to them that, mm -hmm. and they, they don't. <laughs> anyway, that's, but, uh, yeah, this fentanyl thing is, I, mean, you, I think you're part of the uh, Remembers Project too, right? You know those people. Right? Yeah, I do. And, you know, we went to the, their, uh, their uh, what was it, the 